hi everyone in today's video we are going to solve a problem that is monotonic array so this problem is not very tough basically this is an easy problem but it's a tricky one right so as usual so in this video also we will first understand the problem statement then we will discuss multiple approaches starting from the brute force approach to the optimized one and then we will write its code so let's start our video with the problem statement so in this problem we have given an array of integers so we have given an array of integers and we have to check whether the array is monotonic or not so basically an array is monotonic if it is either strictly increasing so if it is monotone increasing or it is monotone decreasing right so if it is either strictly increasing including equal or it is strictly decreasing again including equal so basically this definition is given here so array is monotonic increasing if this the element is continuously or you can say strictly increasing including the equal also similarly for decreasing if it is strictly decreasing including the equals also right so if it is monotonic we have to return to else we have to return a false so let's take an example to understand this problem statement better so in this in the first example we have given this array and in this array if you see the array the array element is strictly increasing this 2 and 2 are equals but the end result is it is strictly increasing so we return true in the next example second example it is strictly decreasing the last two elements are equal but the first element is 6 then the 5 which is in decrease which is less than 6 then 4 which is less than 5 so it is strictly decreasing right and we have to consider this equals also so we return true in the third example in this array if you see the first element is 1 then the next element is 3 which is increasing but the last element is 2 which is decreasing so it is neither increasing nor decreasing so it is not a monotonic array so we return false so this is the problem statement now let's discuss how we can approach or how we can solve this problem the easiest solution which comes in our mind is simply traverse an array simply traverse an array and check whether the array elements are in increasing order or in decreasing order right and if any of the condition is true then it is monotonic so what i mean is let me explain this uh, let me start uh, let's take this array as an example and in this array first let's check whether the array elements are in increasing order or not so for increasing order the element which is present at i plus 1 index the element which is present at i plus 1 index is always greater than or equal to the element present at the ith index so if we check whether the array elements are in increasing order we compare this element with this element right so the element which is present at this index should always be greater than or equal to this element right so this 2 is greater than the element present at this index right again we compare now we compare this element with this element so the element present at this index is equal to the element present at this index now we move the pointer and we compare the element present at this index is greater than the element present at this index yes it is greater than right so this array is monotonic so this array is monotone increasing so this array the array elements are in increasing order so we return true right for decreasing for for checking whether an 
array element are in decreasing order so we compare i plus 1 with the element present at the ith index and for this the element present at i plus 1 index is always smaller than or equal to the element present at ith index right so we check this element with this element and this is smaller than the element present at this index so if i say this is ith index so the value of i is 0 then this is at i plus 1 the value of i is if we are considering the value of i is 0 when we are traversing an array so we are comparing the element present at 0th index with the element present at first index and it is decreasing right so till now everything is fine now we compare the element present at the first index with the element present at the second index and again the 4 is less than 5 so it is fine and then we compare the element present at second index with the element present at the third index and it is equal so it is fine now this array is in decreasing order so again it is monotonic so we return true right now let's take a uh, check with this array so this array is neither increasing not decreasing so we return false so first we check whether it is increasing so we check uh, we first compare 1 with 3 so till now it's fine then we compare 3 with 2 now it is not increasing so we return false that it is not increasing so now let's check whether it is decreasing so we compare 1 with 3 now it is not in decreasing order also so we return false here right so let's check the code the code is very simple and straightforward so here i have created two functions one is is increasing and second is is decreasing the first one check whether the array elements are in increasing order and the second function checks whether the array elements are in decreasing order so if any of the condition is true then we simply return true else if both the conditions are false we return false right so this is increasing function takes this uh, array as an input uh, array as an argument right and it runs a loop from 0th index to length minus 1 why length minus 1 so length minus 1 because at every step at every iteration we are comparing i with i plus 1 right so we run a loop so suppose if the array size is 4 so we run a loop till this point because when the pointer reach at this point it will compare this element with the next element and if we run a loop till the last element then this will compare with the next element and the next element does not exist and we get the array out of bound exception so we run the loop till this point and it will compare to the next element right so this is the logic behind the length minus one and so this condition basically check if the element present at ith index is greater than the i plus one index then definitely it's not in increasing order we simply return false because in increasing sequence the element which is present at the higher index should always be greater than or equal to the element which is present at the lower index right so this 2 will always be greater than or equal to the element present at 0th index this element will the element present at this index should always be greater than or equal to the element present at this index like this right and for decreasing for this function everything is same except the condition is reverse so here the condition is the element which is present at i plus 1 is greater than the element present at the ith index then we return false because it is not in decreasing order right so this element if the element present at let's say first index is greater than the element present at 0th index then it is not in decreasing order similarly to if element present at second index is greater than element present at first index so this condition is violated and we return false now 
let's talk about its time and space complexity so we are not using any extra space so it's a space complexity is big o of n and its time complexity is also big o of n so we are running two loop but basically it's o n plus n and we can write it as basically big o of n right so so now we have discussed this approach but the only problem with this code is for increasing for checking whether the array element are in increasing or in decreasing order we are running two separate loop can we merge this can we do this in a single pass so let's discuss now instead of running two for loops we check the condition in a single loop right here we are checking the condition in a single loop and the logic remains same but now our code is more optimized so we are doing the same thing in a single loop which we did earlier by using two for loops right and here we are checking if if this condition is violated if the array is not in increasing order and if the array elements are not in decreasing order then we we are reinitializing these flags basically these variables is increasing and is decreasing if both these variables are false then the array is not monotonic right we return false if any of them is true we return true that it is monotonic so let's dry run this code the element present at zeroth index is 1 and the element present at first index is 2 so first in first iteration we compare the element present at zeroth index is greater than the element present at first index no because uh, so here the value of i is 0 so 0 and the 0 plus 1 1 so we are comparing the element present at zeroth index with the element present at first index so this condition is not true right but this condition is true so it is definitely not in decreasing sequence right so we reinitialize this value is decreasing false but the value of is increasing is still true which we initialize when we declare this variable right so now in next iteration the value of i is 1 so we compare this 2 with 2 so again is this condition true no and is this condition true no then we move to this index and we compare 2 with 3 right so is this condition true no is this condition true yes so this value is already we already assigned false and again this condition is true so we reinitialize false right after that this came out of we came out of this loop the value of is increasing is true and the value of is decreasing is false so we return true because this i mean this array all the array element present in this array is in increasing order right so this array is monotonic and we return true right now let's talk about its time and its space complexity so its space complexity is big o of one so we are not using any extra space and its space complexity is big o of uh, its time complexity is big o of n so space complexity is big o of one and time complexity is big o of n so that's it for this video tutorial and if you like this video uh, if you if you love this explanation please like this video and share with your friends and please subscribe this channel so that whenever i upload a new video you you will get the notification and thanks for watching this video thanks for your time